Good day guys, how's it all going? Um, thought I'd do a little video about this uh, crazy, crazy time that we're in at the moment. We're um, in New Zealand, we're locked down uh, completely. We're not allowed to go out of the house except to buy food and to go to uh, medical emergencies like the doctor or, or to pick up pharmaceutical medicines and things like that. And um, man, it's just um, insane. We're, we're locked in for four weeks. I'm one of the fortunate ones who uh, already was working at home quite a lot anyway, and I, I'll just continue doing that. But um, well, our business has uh, really fallen off the cliff, so um, a lot of uncertainty around that area. But man, it's just um, oh, it's pretty uh, pretty stressful. But I'm um, really lucky um, in that a couple of weeks ago, or, or actually about. I don't know, a week ago I, I picked up a new drill and um, I just thought I'd make a little video about that a uh, bit of a montage of uh, setting that up and um, here's my old one and I'm replacing this one with the new one and this little thing is um, pretty old, it's a quarter horsepower and um, <laughs> pretty gutless it would, it would stall uh, just if it didn't like the look of the wood it was about to drill a hole in. So forget about it for uh, forcing the bits and spade bits and um, um, plug cutters as well. It didn't do too well, depending on how hard the wood was. And I've replaced it with the, um, the Hafco um, Machinery House. Uh, their brand is Hafco, which is... Um, short for Heron Forbes and this is a one horsepower it's much much bigger than I thought it was going to be they have a huge showroom at their warehouse and um, in there it just looked like a you know th this is the smallest drill they they sell and in their showroom it looked pretty reasonable like it would fit in the uh, the space where my old drill sits on the shelf there, but um, uh, this thing's way bigger, so I've got it on a temporary stand at the moment, and um, it's uh, really nice, really nice. So what you saw drilling in the opening scene of this uh, this video was a forty millimeter force number just going straight through. 18 millimeter MDF, no problem at all. Uh, it didn't even blink. Uh, there's a lot of power in that one horsepower motor. So guys, um, I hope that everyone is doing well. At the moment, I think uh, probably a fifth or a quarter of the world's population is um, staying at home either by government advisory or uh, by in our case uh, government mandate and the whole country is in a state of national emergency at the moment i hope everyone's doing well and um 
I'm I'm happy to be here. I just um, am really happy that I'm doing my part to stop the spread of this virus around my country and um, prevent the needless loss of potentially thousands or tens of thousands of lives. So enjoy the vid and um, I'm going to be um, making a few more in the days to come, the weeks to come. All right, guys, cheers. So that looks like the, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, the pillar or the column or, I don't know the proper name for this, but uh, there that is. That goes on top of the, the, uh, the base here. So the base is about 400 deep. And the column here is 753 millimeters off the ground, which is that's pretty uh, pretty high. Blob of grease there. I'm going to put the handle on and give this a bit of a spin to get that grease in the around that gear and that worm. Otherwise, it's just going to rub all over this uh, this column here, and uh, it'll be lost. So there's an Allen key supplied with the kit to uh, do up the grub screw here, which is nice. And I'm going to give it a few turns to get that grease through the system. There's a bit of a rough spot on the casting here. Very minor. I'm just going to tidy that up before I put it on the column and uh, hopefully prevent the column from getting scratches up and down its length.